All right, we're going to be learning the head and arm takedown, which in Japanese is called Koshi Garuma, even though Koshi Garuma actually means hip wheel. This is the closest term in Japanese to what we're looking for here. Uh, so what we're going to start off with, just keeping things fairly simple, is grabbing an arm and grabbing a head, and using this as our starting point just to get connection to our opponent. We're going to take a big step. We're going to do one big action where this hand's going to come free and I'm going to come all the way through. Okay. So a couple things are happening here. One, I want to step past her leg. All right. As I'm doing that, I want to bring my whole body, like my whole body is going to make contact with her. My arm is reaching past. I'm getting my armpit to the back of the neck and I'm starting to bring my arm down. Higher you grip on the arm, the better. I don't need to connect these, but you can, okay? From here, there are many finishes, but what I'm mostly gonna emphasize is I wanna put my, I wanna put weight forward and start to turn. This is one of the easiest ways to do the take. I'm gonna get a different angle so I can show you what's gonna happen when I finish, okay? I think this will get us right. I'm stepping through. This leg has really got to be in front of that leg, okay? I start to lean forward, and I start to turn in a corkscrew-like motion. When I come down here, the way I've been teaching the kids is this. I do a karate kick. My leg is kicking up. I'm going to grab my leg. From there, I can take my butt off the ground and crush them with weight. I'm not going to do that to Kaylee right now. But I'm going to get to here. Do not let go of this arm. Make sure I have good control. If I want to go to mount, which I recommend in tournament play, I'm gonna let go of the leg. I'm gonna bring the leg, I'm gonna bring my head down as my leg goes back. This gives me space to get my leg over and go to mount, okay? So, big mistakes that you're gonna see from here are, and this is the big, the really, 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 really big mistake. A lame grip here that is, has no real control over the arm. Higher is better than lower. Stepping inside the body and grabbing him with the elbow, okay? From here, even if I lean forward and start to move, I'm more just like pulling her into my own body, okay? So her ability to go forward, nothing's really, starting to turn or twist her, okay? So this is probably the biggest mistake that I see is that the kids really want to emphasize grabbing the head, okay? It's not a headlock. We want to be much, much, want to cast that arm much, much further, which has much greater strength here, okay? So they're casting, bringing down. I would say the other big mistake from here is they don't lean forward, they just try to turn. Just turning should very easily move with me. But as I lean and turn, it's very hard for them to stop that, okay? On the ground, they may make some mistakes with their grip and stuff like that. I wouldn't worry about that too much, um, them having a perfect soul stealer when they get down. The point of the class is the Koshigaruma, to be able to throw them. They, if they're getting them to the ground, they can let go and turn on to them, that is fine, okay? Let's make sure they can get them to the ground. Big step through, big step through. I keep telling them, if the back of their head doesn't smell bad, you didn't do it right, okay? 